When you're working in something like the horticultural industry and trying to propagate a tree in large numbers, you want a large percentage of those things to work. And so you tend to gravitate toward the things that are propagating easily. So you put something, a certain amount of effort in, and if you're not getting 90% success, uh, that's considered a f uh, both an intellectual and a financial failure. Archangel, when it goes to something like a very old tree, it's still difficult to propagate. Uh, what they've changed is it's not impossible. <laughs> that's our office. Yeah, it's great. Can't beat it. But they may only get one or two percent, and for a horticultural operation, that would be a throwaway, but for their operation, they've managed to propagate a very valuable tree, even though in low numbers. And it's pretty expensive per copy. So this is our lab at Archangel. And this is where we begin the process of figuring out how to grow these old forest giants. We're expanding our knowledge base and learning some of the newer technologies to try and get some of these old genetics in our bank. We try all kinds of different methods to start the propagation process. One of them is micropropagation. We have here some jars that we've done uh, micropropagation in. These are some initial starts of giant sequoia plants. These sequoias are, are thousands of years old. The exciting area of this mi micropropagation is to be able to produce a large number of plants from a, a very minute amount of material. We're in a big room full of black willow trees. These trees came from a state champion tree. We gather cuttings from those trees and bring them into our research facility and find reliable ways to reproduce or clone those trees so that we can put them in production. Archangel is engaged in something that the horticulture industry has been engaged in for centuries, is to find some good trees and make more of them. Our production methods aren't necessarily different than any other nursery, but what we're doing is selecting trees for different purposes. For instance, at one time all of our lakes, rivers, and streams had trees like these massed around its edges in order to filter the water before it returned to our freshwater ecosystems. And what we're doing is giving ourselves the ability to put those filters back. And not just put the filters back with any old genetics, but put them back with the best possible genetics that we can find. Archangel Ancient Tree Archive is a nonprofit organization working to solve some of our planet's environmental problems. But we can't do it alone. Visit our website to make a donation and find out more about our efforts. Only with your help can we expand our efforts to get these hardworking trees into the ground.